today I'd like to introduce you to two of my little invertebrate friends. They happen to be decorator crabs. Decorator crabs are known for the way they use materials within their environment to hide from and ward off predators. These two decorator crabs have been with me for about two years and you can see that they have various different items attached to and growing on their backs. One of the crabs harvests yellow sponge and attaches it to the back, while the other one likes to have uh, zoanthid polyps and algae. What I'm holding here is actually not the crab. It's a molt. Remember, crabs actually have to shed their exoskeletons to get larger. When they do go through the molting process and shed those exoskeletons, they also get rid of everything attached to them, so they kind of have to start all over again. These two decorator crabs are unique because I really didn't collect them to put them in our tanks. They sort of just showed up one day. So how do crabs just show up in a tank one day? Well, it comes down to how they reproduce. Crabs spend most of their early life as plankton, like this zoea. Eventually, they'll metamorphose into a tiny little crab and settle out on the seafloor. These two crabs happened to settle out on one of our fouling plates that we were using during a study out in the field. So this is an example of one of the fouling plates that our little decorator crabs came in on. If you've ever noticed that any surface in the marine environment is covered with all sorts of things like algae and barnacles and little encrusting invertebrates, those are fouling communities. And they can add a lot of diversity and abundance to the marine community, which is why we study them. So as it happened, once we collected all the data from our plates, we put them in a tank just for safekeeping. Our little tiny juvenile crabs apparently hopped off the plates and hid in the tank somewhere. It wasn't until a couple of months later when we finally saw the little tiny orange crabs crawling around on the rocks. There are quite a few species of decorator crabs globally, but they all have this unique adaptation to try and camouflage themselves using found materials. The little zoantha polyps on the back of this crab actually have stinging cells which help protect it. Decorator crabs are definitely unique. If you've had any experience with decorator crabs, leave a comment down below. And of course, click that like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content. Till next time.